so there was a time when uh, I went and told uh, Surya sir that I'm a great fan of his uh, wife, who's uh -huh. also a very uh, uh, veteran actor, um, Jyotika ma'am. And I've grown up watching her films and I've always loved the kind of energy she is on screen. Yeah. And I went and told this to him and he's like, of course. <laughs> and uh, I also told him that I'd like to see both of them coming together for another film very soon. Wow. And he said yes. There is a misconcept where everybody thinks it's so easy to be an actor. It's so easy to be a public figure. Miss Deepika Padukone, when she came forward, mm -hmm. uh, telling people about the kind of uh, you know the phase that she's gone through, mm -hmm. she had been uh, going through in yeah. terms of depression regarding that, and everybody was so open to it. I am a huge, huge uh, fan of. Uh, uh, Mr. Amir Khan. Prayaga Navrasa is releasing in August on Netflix and it looks a very exciting anthology which is a nine part anthology and you are a part of this segment of love. We all have different definitions of love. How do you define love for yourself? I really cannot define love but one thing I can say love is see to be in love and to be loved by somebody or the people around you is a great feeling, isn't it? It is. That's that's it. Love is all around you. It's up to you to find love and uh, also to get connected uh, to the love you have with you. Mm. It's very important to to know that that you are full of love. So, Prag, how did this uh, film happen for you? You know, this segment of love for in uh, Love Rasa, uh, and what what do you play in this film? I'd uh, like to see it as uh, something magical that uh, happened in my life. Something that's not short of a miracle. Um, it, it it was a sudden call uh, from Gautam Sir's team mm. from that side. And I was called for a photo shoot and a screen test uh, on the same day. Mm. I did that, came back to Cochin. I was called again for another round of screen test. And uh, that time uh, was was with uh, PC Sri Ram sir. Sure. And I was a bit nervous when I realized that this time uh, the screen test is going to be with uh, PC sir. But it just I think I fed reasonably um, okay for the shoot. Mm. And then I was uh, I was told that I'm on board and I'm in. So, Prayaga, I have to ask you this, uh, you know, you are paired opposite uh, Suraya sir in, in this shot and uh, it, it really looks like an exciting pair. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first time that you would be also working, you worked with him. Uh, how was the experience of uh, sharing screen space with an actor like him? Amazing, amazing. I fall short of words because uh, Surya sir has been, the, has been the superstar in the industry. He is uh, proven who he is as an actor to his audience all these years. So this time it's it's. I hope you're very aware of uh, the magical combination of uh, Gautam sir and Surya sir coming together. So this time, I, uh, on behalf of the audience and I as an audience, not being a part of the, not being an actor or anything, I'm expecting a lot from that day. <laughs> the same kind of a magic and let's sure. really hope fingers crossed it comes out really great and um, working with Surya sir I think he's, he's one actor who's extremely professional he comes out with great dignity and he just gets lovelier every year goes by um, it was it was great working with him sure Sure. But any conversation that you remember on the set that cracked you up or some advice that he gave you or something, some interesting anecdote that you can share with us on the set? Of course, of course. Uh, so there was a time when uh, I went and told uh, Surya sir that I'm a great fan of his uh, wife who's uh -huh. also a very uh, a veteran actor, Correct. Um, Jyotika ma'am. I've grown up watching her films and I've always loved the kind of energy she is on screen. Yeah. And I went and told this to him and he's like, of course. <laughs> and uh, I also told him that I'd like to see both of them coming together for another film very soon. Wow. And he said yes. 
he said they're looking out for something like that. I was very, very excited to hear that. Wow, wow. that would be very exciting. I yes, agree with very you. much, very much, because they've been a hit on-screen pair, right? Yes. All the kind of romance and the the, uh, the kind of chemistry that they've had uh, in their previous films, yes. one in uh, Gautam Sir's film as well. Yes. Kaka Kaka was yes. the one where they uh, united. and i really hope to see that pair again on screen for the sure. same same chemistry same levels of romance so so yes sir was optimistic about it something will happen very much very much let's all hope for it. actors are prone to a lot of things you know they get uh, reactions on their movies they get reaction on their fashion choices they react get reactions now in this new age on their social media post also and uh, social media also comes with an aspect of trolling and you haven't been uh, new to that so when you look at social media trolling in general uh, prayag how do you deal with it you will have to be prepared you are an actor you are you are being put under the limelight and the spotlight mm. and you are you are supposed to uh say take in whatever that comes by right because a film is ultimately made for the public for the audience mm. and they have their 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 amount of that fair share of uh right in uh, criticizing your work mm. say complimenting your work as it's not that all the time they criticize you they like your performance and it's undeniably great sure. then they they have with no option other than to compliment you so it's all a part and parcel of this game so yeah. if if uh, you're an actor then you've got to be prepared for all of it but how do you keep your mental health in check then you know because there's so much mental coming health. your way yeah uh, mental health. see there there is a miss concept where everybody thinks it's so easy to be an actor it's so easy to be a public figure where it's not it's all easy it's all easy because i'm probably that i'm i've presented myself to be you know all good today people think it's so easy for me to sit here in front of a uh, uh, media a uh, media portal and give an interview it's it's difficult uh, sure. not to give an interview not just that but the journey that we are having you know there's so many things that's unseen there's so many things that uh, people don't really know what's happening around mm. and even in the case of making a film uh, you just see the result right you just see the output you see the end product what yeah. goes into it is something else a filming yeah. of a filming a, a cinema a movie is a is a another ball game altogether i agree so uh, mental health when we come to that point i guess um, it, it's it's very important that uh, an actor gets to be prepared Uh, to what he or she is about to face, and um, we got to be very strong. True. Uh, acting, or say acting in just generation twenty first century media uh, thing, is not an easy thing. And media is a powerful, powerful tool. True. Like it's something that influences the society, the mindset of a lot of people, a lot of industries, a lot of things. so media is powerful recognize that fact yeah and uh, also also uh, there will there will there'll be a point when you can prove it to yourself to your people sure. so it's a, it's about that journey so all of a sudden you're an actor and you want to be good i i don't think if you're really lucky then that comes across like that to people sure. if not it will take your own time so have patience have, have a lot of patience to you know sure sure go for it but you know the reason i asked you also this because is we started speaking about mental health only very recently and it is so important to address this as that celebrities when you all gave out the message it reaches out to more people when they start understanding the concept of the importance of mental health uh and uh, like you uh, just mentioned you know that it's as celebrities it's not very easy for you all to manage this kind of an attention so the i just just for from from an educational point of view how did you deal with this and did did it did this kind of a, a feedback that you guys keep on receiving the celebrities keep on receiving how do you deal with it and does it ever affect your mental health for that uh, matter i remember the time when uh one of my favorite actors and india's most celebrated actors uh actor miss deepika padukone when she came forward uh yeah. telling people about the kind of uh 
you know the phase that she's gone through mm-hmm. she had been uh, going through in yeah. terms of depression regarding that and everybody was so open to it i mean everybody was like it was a shock almost like a shocker to millions of people um so uh see that is what that was like you know you suddenly start seeing a celebrity on another light you're like oh she's also a human being so it took took us a deepika padukone uh, for her to say it out in you know for uh, to break the that sort of a Oh. stigma around it i don't know stigma yeah probably so see now what i'd like to put forward here is that i'm somebody who um who uh, keeps getting um, a comment saying praga why don't you why don't you uh, shed a few kilos why don't you look thinner uh, okay. it look uh, definitely great uh, you know if you can shed a few kilos which is right i'm not denying it but the thing is that it's pretty difficult for me to a uh, loose way because i have pcos or slash pcod mm. so uh, this is something that not many people know and uh, at this point i wouldn't uh, really shy away from telling people that i have pcod mm. because they got to know that you know uh, even after trying so much to lose some weight i can't because i have this sure so there has to be some some stop uh, somewhere uh, when you really uh, try to put somebody down uh, sure. or they judge an actor based on their body and their body type absolutely so the f- mere fact that you can uh, you know if you start seeing an actor as a human being i think it will bring about a lot more change it will it will welcome a lot more great actors yeah. uh, in the mainstream um you know it will break a lot of stereotypes sure or else we'll keep having clones of each other sure other than what so i think we got to you know we've got to break a lot of things so that we welcome a lot more people we can relate to we can relate to as in a lot more people see there are a lot of people with a lot of body types there are a lot of people with a lot of mental issues a lot of people with a lot of lot of variety different kind of uh, issues that's yet to be addressed So I think only if actors um uh reflect reality actors mm. uh, reflect real people uh can the audience be able to you know relate to them and uh, reflect them when they see them on screen. Uh Prayaga you have done a lot of films down south and you are a very very celebrated artist. Uh is there a chance that we'll see you uh, in in the Hindi space as well? Have you been offered something? Uh I've been very fortunate enough to have been offered a few Hindi films uh back in the years but then I was not prepared for it. I am not even now I guess. It, it's about that mind. I am somebody it's it's about the right mindset. Uh Yeah. and uh, i'm somebody who go- goes by the gut feeling I'm, yeah. i always have with yeah. everything in my life and yeah. especially in my career because film is something it's it's unpredictable things happen things may not happen uh, you just got to you know just got to keep going uh, don't sure. have to uh, think too much about it too much about anything at all and sure. i'm somebody who doesn't like to carry the baggage of regrets so i'm just somebody who keeps going and takes life as it comes and so let's see but but at the same time i i'd also like to um, state something that you know for an actor language language should never be a barrier it shouldn't be a boundary that you draw uh, for yourself i think so if i uh, if i've had a line for myself uh, not being uh, not being ready enough to accept another offer from another industry then that's my fault hmm. i think somewhere if when i correct it that is when you will see me in him that's so right wow. wow. is there any any actor or director who's on your uh, you know who's on your wish list that you do want to collaborate in in the hindi cinema i don't know if, if it's right to say this but since you asked me and since i really don't really am not somebody who thinks too much yeah. uh for answering a question let me, let me just say this i am a huge huge uh, fan of uh, uh mr amir khan Wow. and i like to some day at least like to meet him and tell him how how much his films and his ideologies have influenced somebody like me an actor like me so i just to like uh, you know like to meet him some day brilliant we can't wait to see that collaboration thank you so much priyanka this was a lovely okay. conversation hope you have a good day thank you, thank you so much Bye-bye. i had a great time thank you for having me
थैंक यू बाय